Hi, my name is Felissa. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Yeah, thank you. And yeah, today I'm just going to be doing this look that I've got on right here. If you'd like to see the eye makeup look, you can skip to, I'd say about halfway. And if you want to see how to do the freckles, it's going to be the first part of the video is how to create forks freckles. I did this look a few days ago on Inst and I posted it on Instagram. It looked like that and I had quite a few requests on how to create this look so I thought why not and a lot of people wanted to know what eyeshadows I was wearing because it apparently looks nice and I love turquoise so I decided to wear a matching shirt okay so thank you so much for watching if you'd like to see how to do this look just keep on watching so while I wait for the mascara to dry I'm gonna start making freckles <laughs> okay so firstly I'm gonna I'm going to go in with my Brow Wiz from Anastasia and I'm going to be using the shade Dark Brown. Looks like that. Not that you could really see, but I'm going to be using that. I'm just going to dot it all over the place. Just I'm going to start at my nose. I'm going to be mainly be using this area right here. I'm going to go over my highlight. Yeah, so I'm just going to start dotting it. Almost like using a rotating motion with a pencil, you can see. It's like dotting them down. Going onto the nose as well. Ooh. Okay, so if you make a boo-boo like that, just leave it there. We'll blend that out later. For filming purposes, I am going to make this a bit darker. Like, it was just slightly darker. A brush that already has like, it's got black on it, but it's, it's almost like washed out. So I'm just going to make tiny dots with what's still left on this brush then I'm going to go in with my brow gel in ash brown from Anastasia and I'm going to do the same as I've been doing with the other products just dot them down I think I'm actually going to work closer to the eye area with these Having a small brush like this is beneficial because you don't all freckles aren't the same size, so it's nice that you can actually change the shape of a freckle instead of having just like around a bunch of round spots. So making some of them a bit bigger or like a mark. Okay, and then afterwards I'm just gonna use my brush again and I'm gonna slightly press over them if you find that you've had a few like minor accidents like I've got there you can always use the earbud just to clean it up or to soften or smudge it out I feel like I want to go in with my dip brow again and just do a few spots a few more spots And if you, uh, um, freckles don't usually make lines, so, so if you find a freckle that looks like a line, change it a bit, okay. I like freckles, they're so cute. I'm going to start off with the professional from Benefit, and I'm just going to apply that over the whole face. Well, mostly on the nose. Okay, on the nose, my chin, and my forehead, and then just spread it from there. I'm not going to be doing foundation today, so I'm only going to be using the Catrice Liquid Camouflage. And I'm going to put that under my eyes, a bit on my chin, and around my nose. I just don't feel like foundation. And then I'm going to use my Morphe M439 to blend that in. Oh, I still love this brush, even though it is so big. I really just like this. 
and then I'm going to use my MAC painterly on the eyes just to prime my eyes. Okay, I'm going to start with the eyes and I'll be using the Ultimate Naked Palette from Urban Decay. It looks like that. I'll be going in with a lighter shade whoop, there just to set the, the crease with or the lid with. So still with a flatter brush I'm just going to start um, darkening the crease a bit and I'll be using the color Commando for this one. So with this shade I'm just going to be moving back and forward in the crease area and I'm just going to start building the color. I'm blending this color quite high up and I'm going to blend it to almost the inside corner of my brow. Because that's just the look we're going for today. I'm going to blend that there. Trying to keep the area underneath the brow open. Then with the same brush I'm going to do a slightly darker color. I'm going to use Faith. That shade. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to try and keep the area that I'm working on a bit smaller. I want to add a slight bit of warmth, so I'm going to use Extra Bitter, it's like a brick orangey shade. don't want to use too much because it is really pigmented, so I'm just going to like lightly dip my, my brush in my brows, <laughs> my brush in there and I'll start blending that as well. Just to give it a slight bit of warmth. And as you can see, I'm blending towards the inside corner of my brow. Okay, so for the lid itself, I'm going to go in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I'm just going to add a bit of that onto the lid. Really lightly. Oh. Really lightly. I'm not trying to create like a solid white base, but just a light base that I'd be able to use. I'm just going to take my finger and blend that out. Just a tiny bit. So that the area on the center of the eye is still lighter. The shade that I'll be using is... I don't know how to pronounce this. It looks like this. It looks turquoise and you turn it and it looks blue and red and you turn it. So it's a really nice shade. I'm just going to pat that on to both. I'm going to go in over that with the Heavy Metal Glitter in Distortion. So it's the liquid glitter from Urban Decay. And from the inside corner of the eye, I'm just going to pat it on. You can see it's like adding more sparkle to it. And then with my MAC 219, it's a pencil brush, I'm going to go into this color over here, it's called Lethal, it's a deep plum purple. I'm going to run underneath, just to darken it a bit, on the outside corners. Ugh. And then on the outside corners of the eye as well just so we can create a bit of depth. And that the purple is also going to give you that depth without using a black that's, in my opinion, a bit dead unless you're going for, like, black, black. I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dips. <laughs> Distracted. Looks like this. I'm going to be using the summer color right here, just as a highlight for the inner corner and then the brow bone as well. For my brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Ash Brown, looks like that. And I'm 
I'm going to be using my Real Technique accent brush for that really fine small brush. So I first I just brush the brows up and then I'm just going to start, I don't really know, you just kind of fill it in. <laughs> so I'm just doing it with like small hair like movements so that you don't end up with like a solid block brow unless that's the look that you're going for then by all means go for it girl. The actual tail of the brow I like being a bit more solid, so it's like a sleek look, so it would make that a bit more of a of a like a block shape than I would do in the front. In the front I would just line the bottom and kind of flick the product upwards. Like that. So this is this is my good one. This is my not so good one. <laughs> I always have a hard time with this one. And then please remember to close this, otherwise it's going to dry up and we're all going to cry. Yeah, pretty much. And to you contour my face with, I'm going to go in with Bahama Mama from The Bomb. It looks like that. And the shade looks like that. Like that. It's really deep and pigmented shade, so I would suggest that you take it slow. Otherwise you're going to end up with a boo-boo. <laughs> okay. I'm just running a bit of product um, at the sides of my nose just to warm it up as well otherwise it look really pale and I feel like the bronzer gets the parts where I didn't use foundation or concealer which is basically everywhere <laughs> and down my neck and this is the part I like doing because it really makes it look like I've got sun <laughs> Then for highlights, I'm going to use both Moonstone and Summer. It's those two shades. And I'm just going to use them. <laughs> this is what I look like when I'm happy. And then I'm going to use it a bit above my brow bone as well. Because I like looking glowy. And then on the top of my nose. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and on my lips as well. Just the cupid's bow. So I'm just going to add a bit of mascara using the Real from Benefit. I'm going to use this on the bottom lashes. So a lot of people ask me what eyelash glue I use, I use duo glue, it looks like that. It's literally the best glue you'll ever find for lashes. Uh, you can buy them at Inglot or MAC. Some pharmacies or like drugstores sell them, but I'm not quite sure which ones. So I usually just use the back of my tweezer and I do the line. Just add some glue to the rim. And I give it a few seconds to dry. Get your mirrors ready. Where's my mirror? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna use this one. It usually use, uh, works better if you've got like a small mirror, but not this big one. So, ah! Uh, okay, I'm gonna grab it as close to the lashes as possible. And I'm just gonna place it, place it. Place it on my lashes. For the lips, I'm just going to be using Boldly Bare from MAC. That shade. I'm just going to line the lips a bit. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite lipstick, which is Viva Glam from MAC. It's Viva Glam Squad. Uh, 
Kan jag ha förlevt om jag inte? Om jag inte. So that is it for today's look everyone. Thank you so much for joining me and watching. I really hope that you find this video helpful. I really do hope so. If you liked and enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you know someone that likes freckles and that wants freckles, forward this video to them or just share it. But thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.